So we made the switch to Singapore Math because we were looking for a program that was a little bit more in depth and it took the concepts and did a little bit more quality than quantity. We so the students were able to answer wrote mathematic facts but they weren't able to really problem solve and when they problem solved they were able to do one step problem solving but anything that was multi-step was something that they weren't able to do. So we needed to find a program that developed their ability to come up with strategies and ideas and techniques and also a program that encouraged them to sort of try something and then learn from what didn't go well then rather than try something and, and succeed and then move on. Feel along with me and I want you to be thinking about the questions that it's asking and then I'm going to ask you to give me some suggestions on how I should start figuring out the strategies I'm going to use. So I want you to think about maybe the words that you see that give you some clues about what's going on. I'm just going to ask you for some suggestions so that we can kind of talk through the story and the, the problem ourselves and we can try to figure out how to solve it, okay? One of those programs where you may not get the right answer and that experience helps you learn the concept even, even more. Um, the other component of Singapore math is, is that it will teach concepts and skills, but then during the assessment, it will look at how well are they able to apply their knowledge of that concept and skill. So again, it's not necessarily a program that is focused on assessing the mastery of something, but rather focusing on the student's ability to apply the skills and knowledge, and that comes at very different levels. But we start the, the math, there's a warm-up where we all problem solve together, we work with partners and teams, we think aloud, do a lot of what strategy should we use. Yeah. Um, a lot of group work where we're all trying something and then we all realize it's not going to work so then we all go back and then it'll phase into let's do it with a partner and then it'll phase into let's do it on, on my own. And so it's nice progression, it's good, it's comfortable, they feel safe being wrong and as we go along they become even more comfortable with it. Chickens and some cows. Yeah, and how many cows does the farmer have? Okay, so now we just have to draw the ducks first. Yeah, and so everyone draw the ducks on their paper. I don't I know. So their, their assessment varies, but it also is focused more on how they're able to take what they've learned and apply it to questions and situations that they have not been presented with. And that's hard, and that's something that is a more real world life skill as opposed to, I know how to do this exact problem, and of course this is the only problem I'm ever going to be given. And so it really focuses on taking what you know and thinking it through and applying it to a situation that you may not, or a problem that you may not have been exposed to before. So that's probably the, the biggest benefit, I think, of the program, is that the students are becoming much more comfortable with seeing a problem and realizing they do not know the answer, and that they're not going to figure it out right away, and comfortable with that, and knowing that that is not only okay, but that's how it's supposed to be, and then they take it apart and they look at all the, how am I going to solve this, what can I try, what do I know, what do I not know, and that approach to teaching math is much more uh, real world. Very good. How did you figure out that four cows were 16 It still it focuses a lot on there's a lot of multiple intelligences involved, there's lots of kinesthetic work, there's lots of manipulatives, and that's something that's in common with a lot of math programs. So in that respect it's not different. We're still using hands-on materials, we're still needing to understand the answer to two plus two and four times six, they need to know that answer. But understanding what is four times six, what does that mean, is different than the other programs where they were just needed to memorize the facts and reproduce the answer. 
Whereas here, even if you know 4 times 6, that's great. I'm glad you know it's 24. But why is it that answer? What does 4 times 6 mean? And that's something that I think the other programs don't do that seems love it. They love it. And I'm finding that there's more opportunities to enrich. You know, so those students that are, have always done very, very well in math are finding that this is a new way of thinking. And so it's a great way to extend them without just giving them more work. Cow. 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 So I'm not having to just have them move ahead, but we're kind of, the program lends itself that where we can go out instead of up, which is what we want to do anyway. And so even those children that are you know, quick in math skills, they're not finding that, oh, this is so easy too. They actually tend to be the ones that seem to struggle a little bit more at first. They're not as comfortable with not knowing the answer and not, they're not as comfortable at seeing a problem that they don't know the answer to and realizing that that's okay. And so they tend to struggle a little bit more than the ones that maybe have always needed to think and go back. And that's been kind of an eye-opening experience for them. We don't know what to do. Let's figure it out. And that's a good, a good feeling for them, I think. And they're, they're starting to, to enjoy it. And know that the homework that goes home, especially the journaling part, they already know that she just wants me to write about what I think. She doesn't, she's not looking for a specific sentence, she's not looking for a specific answer, she's looking for my math thoughts. And we talk about all that all the time, what are your math thoughts? Mm -hmm. And there's a, a huge journal and writing component to Singapore Math that I haven't seen in a lot of the other programs, where the kids aren't having to write in words how they're solving a math problem. So that's been kind of fun too.